I wanted to show you one more match palette painting. I pulled up an image from the artist David Arathun from Toronto, Canada. And I really love his color palettes he does. I think his paintings are beautiful. And I did do a match palette painting from it, but it really needs a lot more brought in of his colors. So another way to do this, so I could paint on top of there, is go to Window and in Color Palettes do the Show Mixer. And I'm going to take, to make it easy, some of these colors and I'm just going to put them right on the mixer. And then I'm, I don't have to keep his image open. I don't have to keep uh, referring to his image. I can just go to my mixer palette here. I'm looking for one of those blues, nice bright blue he has in there. And I'll minimize this, move this over, and look at what a beautiful colors we have here that we could go ahead now and we could start painting on our painting here. So I could add some more of this. Oops, <laughs> didn't really want to do that. Um, <laughs> I could add some more of his turquoise. Oh, keeps doing it. I got to turn this off. Okay, let's get our color picker and here we go. Okay. Oh, let's turn that off. Okay, so I can add some more of his colors. You use the color picker inside the palette and then if you just hit your B, it'll give you back your brush and you can go ahead and paint some of those colors in. And there's a little bit of that brighter yellow. And I really think this is a really neat color that he has here. So I'm going to add a little bit more of this in instead of those oranges. And we don't really have much of the greens in here, so let's throw a little green in there. And did we pick up any of this purple yet? Let's put some purple right there. And having added those colors, if I go back and click the cloner, I can go ahead and just blend these up. Well, I could blend them in if I clone the image, so here you guys catch me in a mistake. So <laughs> I'll go ahead and I'll just blend them in now. Now they'll blend in. So clone the image first. Don't make the mistake that I did. And then you can soften up these colors. Um, I think that you guys got the gist of this and um, what I'm trying to tell you. And uh, you know, these movies take so long to do, so I don't want to go back over it. But I think this is looking pretty neat. And maybe we want to do something here and get a little bit more color on there. And we can go ahead and we can blend a little bit of that in so it's not quite so sharp. And if you ever really sat and you watched me for a long time, you'd see me going back and forth all the time. I'm always throwing a color in, and then I go in and I try to put it on clone and just leave a little bit of that color. And it just makes things a little bit more interesting. So I hope you like that and you figured it out and I didn't confuse you too much and that you realize there's another way to use your mixer pad with your paintings. All right, back to the Digital Art Academy now.